Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. Now as you know in the last episode we bought a new boat. Now like I said in the last episode comment down below and let me know what you want to name this bad mamma jamma and we will name it that the best the best name that you know fits okay so I will let you guys name it and uh, like I said just uh, comment down below and let me know. Now we did have about five hundred thousand dollars four to five hundred thousand and now we have fifty eight thousand but we can hold twelve long lines or deep lines whatever same thing and then we can also have two uh two crew members which we don't need so i, I didn't spend the money on it and then we're also supposed to uh, deliver supplies to digby so that'll be easy and then also let's see services we don't need that um so yeah like i said we could uh we actually have another uh, crew member, but uh, yeah. So we have Rudy, and then he's there. So I guess, nah, yeah, screw it. Put him on the boat. Might, might as well. And then let's see. Do we need to put new. Okay, so it's already full. Everything is all good in that one. Okay, and I think we upgraded basically everything. Yeah, so we upgraded everything. So uh, what we're going to do is. We're just going to head out right quick. Oh, that sounds lovely. That sounds absolutely lovely. Oh, it's fast, too. It's real fast. <laughs> oh, simmer down. Simmer down. You don't want to speed too much or else everybody's going to be complaining. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's real nice. Oh, shut up. Gee whiz, you can't do nothing in this game. Okay. I don't really know how long we gotta wait. Oh, and I, I, where's Digby? Is this Digby? No, that's Dennis. Where's Digby? Ain't Dig oh, Digby's way up there. Okay. That's fine. We could just fast travel and then uh, get 10 grand for it and then move on. <laughs> no big deal. Now, we do have, I believe it was eight lines out in the ocean right now, waiting. That was really loud. Yeah, so we made 10 grand. That was fast. What kind of boats are here? I haven't been here for a while. So we'll see right quick. Available. That one, and then Scarlet. Scarlet is Snow Crab. Okay. Well, we have a long time before that happens, so we'll be okay. Actually, here, what we'll do is we'll set it for there, but we'll get out of this so that we can actually fast time here, and then we'll be good to go. And after we get out, and then we'll take a little tour of the boat, you know, no big deal. And then we'll see. Man, it, it absolutely sounds fantastic. Okay, now we can, now we can get out of here. Let's go... Here, 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 and then around. Bunk, dunk. Now, I think we'll sit here, but like I said, we we did sit down here. We were sitting here, so that's why we placed the cod there, just because that is over overfished. We uh, we we did a pretty bad number, honestly. So we'll uh, fast travel a little bit. There we go, and then we'll just we'll go here. See how fast this thing can do, too. There we go. And then stop driving. Oh, look at that. Ooh, fancy. What's this? Go up front. Oh. Nice. So it's a little loud. So I'm going to turn down the audio a little bit. Uh, we'll turn it down to about 60, and hopefully, hopefully that's better. It is really loud. Come on, yes, thank you. There we go, that's much better, much better. Open door and sit, just sit down. Ah, fancy, fancy. Anyway, so this is the work deck. Still a little loud, but uh, it's all right. Copy. Well... What we're going to do is we're, we're just going to fast travel here. 
there we go. So I had to turn it down again. It was super loud. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll have to check in editing and see what I can do about it. So, uh, but anyway, so I, I turned it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gulf of Maine. Cool. That's cool. I mean, I don't really know what it does, but uh, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, and they're all blue. Okay, copy. So we were wasting way too much time. Get all of them out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to get that guy. I don't, I don't know who that is because his name didn't... Oh, okay, so that's Rudy, which is fine. So we'll get him and uh, check the sonar, I guess. And there's nothing here. Oh, well. Cruising at 22 miles an hour, which is pretty good, I think. Man, this is a nice boat, though, honestly. Dum, da -dum, dum, dum. Now, we should have 12 of these lines, so uh, I think I did six, six herring and six, uh, what is it, sardines or whatever. squid. She was squid and herring. What in the world? Okay. So that's a little weird. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Huh. Nope. Hit the wrong line. Or hit the wrong button. That's why I did it. didn't work. Makes sense. Okay, so <laughs> when so my the reason why this is so jumpy and, and cutty and everything else, and I keep fiddling with everything, is because uh, my computer updated and it wants like I'm, I'm I'm not very technology advanced, so once it basically uh, updates and everything, it screws up everything, and so you have to go in there and redo everything, which is fine. I mean, it, it's fine, but uh, you know. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, it's the reason why I keep cutting it and editing it and so on and so forth. And hopefully we have enough room and storage on this boat that uh, we don't have to worry about all these lines uh, being too much storage space. And we should have one more. Or maybe another one after this, I'm not quite sure. But we'll see here shortly. Last one. Copy. And I believe that is it. Copy. So, that's a lot. <laughs> Holy macaroni. Okay. So, let's come down here and uh, pick up these lines. Hopefully, they're still good to go. Oh, yeah. Did I make that guy go to bed? Yes, I did. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get him out there and then I will do it um, because I don't trust him <laughs> so it's fine I think I'm a little bit better than they are but uh, well we'll see we'll see I yeah I'll do the first three and then I'll, I'll let them do it then we'll see how it works little, not reverse but we'll see oh man them the movies are all right I mean, four grand, I don't think it's worth four grand, but you know, hey, you know what they say. And oh, I missed. Oh, it, it juked me at the last second. Did you see that? Ridiculous. Okay, so fish was already on board and you're way back there, but okay. So this boat seems like very on top of things, if you know what I mean. Oh, there we go. There's a perfect on the backstabber, which is kind of ironic because you're, you're kind of hooking it in the back. 1,700 pounds. Holy macaroni. That, we cannot complain about that. 1,700 pounds. Man, oh man. 
Okay, so we got eight lines in this this go around, and we have twelve in the ones that we just set. And let's see, we got two tuna and one swordfish. And whoo, had to move at the last second, but I think we're good. And it was a good, so we'll be all right for that. And oh, perfect. There we go. And I also wanted to uh, get some uh, squid, too, just because of, uh, you know, I want to fill up the whole quota instead of just one. And then I want to figure out what that, that letter thing is. 1,900 pounds. Holy macaroni. We might have to uh, watch out for the next one. But the fish has definitely moved, what would it be, like uh, eastward or whatever. Down. There we go. What do we got? Three tuna. And, oh, oh, gee! Did you see that? They, they juked me again, man. <laughs> I mean, it was fine, and all of a sudden they juked it. Uh, booyah! So we only have one more month, I believe, for tuna, and then two more months for uh, swordfish. Oh, geez, this this one's moving real bad. There we go. And so, uh, you know, we're going to have to really start um, getting the tuna and swordfish up really fast. 1,700 pounds again. Because, and, and that's to, hey, dude, hey, the fish is already on. There we go. Here, I'll get this guy out and see how, see how good they do. I mean, I'm paying them, so I might as well uh, do something. But we have a, a fairly large quota that we have to deal with. Oh, I don't even have to slow down or nothing. Look at there. So we got one tuna. And that was a good. And another tuna. Which was a good. And a swordfish with a good. Sweet. Cool. So actually this one we have 1,900 pounds. So we have a brand new quota. Okay, so I guess every boat you get, you have a brand new quota. That's pretty cool. So we have a lot of fish to get. <laughs> but if they're getting goods every time, I mean, they might as well just do it. Because we can get good to perfect, or perfect, but we can also get a okay, which ain't great either. So we got one swordfish. Let's see here. One swordfish and two tuna. Looks a lot better with them doing it. There we go. Now let's see our, our all storage here. Uh, catch time. Sweet. Oh, we haven't gutted nothing yet. Oh, I haven't even been paying attention either. 1500. So that one was a little, a little light. Ain't gonna lie, a little light. But it's alright. There's a boat out here, too. And I think we got three more. So we got three tunas, I think. It's really hard to see. Well, I know we got one tuna for sure. I can't remember what that is. Here's a second tuna. And so they've they've all been good so far. So can't really complain. Oh, there's a third tuna. 6,000. And we have 1,900 pounds of... of uh, 2,000. Holy crap. That was a lot. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, we got two more, and then we got to go in to uh, offload and basically bait these up, and then turn around and go right back out. Uh, that's a swordfish for sure, and I think two tunas. Oh, that must be a big one because it's weird looking. <laughs> but it's also good too because we held eight lines, and we're only. Well, we're barely, not even halfway yet, so we'll see. And that one was 2,000 again. 
So it looks like the fish are more down here, which is okay. I mean, we're going through fuel quicker than the normal, especially in this boat. But then again, we also did quite a bit, and fuel's not that expensive. I mean, it's 470 some odd a gallon, which is insane, but it's not terrible. So there's one tuna for sure. What if we do this? Oh, there's a second tuna. And what's the last one? And the last one, the jury says third tuna. Three tuna. Will do. So that's not bad. I mean, uh, it gives us something to do. 1,700 pounds. It gives us something to do if, uh, if we do it, but that ain't terrible. So we got 14,000 pounds, so we still... We can still hold 12,000 more pounds. But that is already more than what our old boat could hold. So that's not bad at all. Here, let's look at the finances right quick. Fish prices. Those are still okay. I mean, I'm really looking better or for, for better tuna prices. That one's not bad either. Ah, that one's going down quite a bit. So the tuna is going down. Okay, so let's look at Lunenburg. It was 1740. Okay. So we're going to Lunenburg. I hope that's how you say Lunenburg. And where is Lunenburg? That's Dennis Point. Lock Point. Lunenburg's way up here. Holy mackerel. Okay. Well, that's not worth it. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to save that much money. So let's look at Lockport. And took a big dip on uh, tuna. And okay, so we're going to Dennis. We're going to Dennis, which is fine. I mean, it's right here. No big deal. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to drive way up the coast for 20 cents because by the time you get fuel prices in there, I mean, you're going to burn it. So no big deal. We're just going to sit here and uh, turn everything in and, and go on there. Two hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars. Now that, my friends, right there, will help us out a lot. Holy mackerel! Okay, so let's bait up, and then uh, we'll see what happens. There we we'll do herring, and then basically just do the same thing: herring and squid. So we'll just go back and forth, and there we go. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to buy some more. One, two, three, four. And then we might as well bait these up to... There's the unbaited ones. Uh, that one's squid. That one's herring. Squid. Herring. And squid. Copy. And do we need fuel? Da -da -da -da. Ooh, two thousand dollars! Holy macaroni! Copy. So that wasn't too terribly bad. Come on. And then, uh, actually, we will look at the uh, the finances again, and then we'll, we will see how much we paid the workers, and see if it's easier for us to get the workers paid, or just do it ourselves. I mean, you probably already know that answer. Here, let's see. Can can we see? Oh, here we go. So we gave Rudy two thousand five. So we both gave him twenty five hundred bucks, twenty six hundred. So we paid basically fifty two hundred. So we made two hundred fifty nine thousand dollars. But after it's all said and done, we made two hundred fifty four thousand. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's only six grand, basically, so that's not bad at all. And then the journal is all crazy. Oh, that's crazy. The gear is all good. What statistics? So we caught 20,000 pounds in tuna and 11,000 pounds in swordfish. That's quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit indeed. So what we're going to be doing is, uh, I think, maybe we'll, like, set it right here. Just right there because then um 
that is out of the way again. Nope, come on, why are we? What's in the way? The the buoy's in the way? Why are we why did we stop here? Come on. Get out of the way. It's not bad. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's actually set it right right here. I mean, like I said, I don't know if we're going to be making money or losing money. Okay, well, because my wife got home, <laughs> I had to pause it again. So I think that should be the uh, the last of the, the edits before the episode is over. But again, I can't say yeah or nay, so we'll just have to go and see. So right now we are right here basically going to go straight for it. Now we could potentially uh, split it up, which we might actually do. So we might go six deep and then like six over here or something like that. I don't know. It all depends. But uh, we shall see when we get there. And I'm just going to keep you guys with me so you get the full experience of uh, what's going on. That is two. And I believe the way they do it is they go one squid, one one heron. So uh, that's also fantastic. And three. It should be up soon. There it is. That's four. Two more. guys get paid a lot of money for a day out. Man, let me tell you. Here's six here. And six. Okay, so now what we're going to do, since we got six there, I actually kind of want to explore this a little bit here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go right up here so, and then cut right back. See where they are. I mean, then again, you know, fishing is all sort of it is part of, uh, you know, going and see where the fish are, right? So, we'll just wait and see. Yes, I know, I pushed the button too fast. So we got three more. Well, four more. I think the hardest part about this game is trying to drive straight. Because look at this. Like, we are just starting. And it is not straight at all. <laughs> but I don't think the fish care, hopefully. Uh, got two more lines. And there we go. And one more. back to bed and then what we'll do is we'll just steam right up yonder right there right there and then basically we'll just anchor up here and wait until uh, it's time to time to go pick them up and once we uh, once we get there we're good to go so we got about four hours copy so what we need to do here is quit Stop driving, which is F, and find the clock. Where's the clock? Here's the clock. Skip time, so eh, about four hours. Man, look at that. Look at that. Okay, it's kind of bright. I, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Man. There we go. We'll get a screenshot right quick. How's that? Oh, now we'll do it once everything's gone. Okay, and one more without the mouse cursor. There you go. So we'll look at the map, and it looks like we need to skip a little bit more time, or there's no fish here. Which, if there is no fish here, we wasted a lot of time for nothing. Which is not necessarily good. 
I don't have high hopes for this one. I'm only going to skip two more two more hours and then we'll see. Oh boy. Okay, so the fish are not here, so I'm just going to click on this one and get away. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wrong button. Wrong button. Okay, well, let's get these guys out and hopefully... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no fish on it, so because we waited for so long, I don't have high hopes. Let's turn that off so it's not as bright. Oh, no, no. No, oh, $10,000? No, I don't want to do that. I, just, I do not have high hopes, that's for sure. No fish. Uh-oh. Low population. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're screwed. So, that is one fun part about this game, right there, is that, uh, you know, you go out and uh, you think you're doing fantastic, and there's absolutely no fish here. And, uh, you know, that's the way it goes, you know? So, luckily, we don't have any any bills, basically, to pay on the boat or nothing. We just paid a flat fee of, of it all. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not good at all. This is absolutely terrible. I thought I had high hopes for this. Honestly, I did. I had high hopes for the entire entire thing. And uh, instead, we have absolutely no fish. That is the wrong button. So, oh well. You know, like I said, uh, it's all part of fishing. The only way you're going to catch fish is uh, go out there and see. You can't have the, the fish knock at your door. So, you know, it's just part of the part of what it goes. And uh, we'll just move on as it goes. But anyway, I'm going to pick up all these lines. And uh, then after that, we're going to go back to land and pick up these lines. And hopefully they do a little bit better. Because, uh, well, that's 11 hours. That ain't good. So, yeah, we're probably going to go to Yarmouth and come back down. And, and then, uh, yeah. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you in the next one with hopefully better fish. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.